Okay, let's start by opening a Finder window. The simplest way to do that is to click on the Finder icon in your dock. That's this little smiley face guy here. So I'm just going to click that one time, and that'll open up a, full, a Finder window uh, for my home um, that's currently pointed to my home directory. You can tell which folder it's pointing to by looking up here at the top of the window. And please make sure you're in this icon view. This button should look depressed like it is on mine. If you're in one of these other views, just simply click on this one and you'll change into this simpler view of your folders. So we want to change into the folder called Documents. and We can either do that by double-clicking on the folder here or selecting it on the sidebar, either one. So I've clicked on that, so now we're in my Documents folder. And I want to create a new folder within this one called My Family History. To do that, I'm going to go up to the file, the, the menu and click on File, New Folder. And that will create a, a new folder down here at the bottom. Uh, the window's already scrolled down and you can see the title of the folder has a light blue background um, circled by a little bit darker blue outline. And that's indicating that that file name is already selected so we can simply type to replace that. We don't have to press delete or anything first. We can just type to replace. So I'm just going to start typing my family history and then press return. And you can see that created the folder and renamed it up here and, and um, I've got my, my folder set to auto sort so it puts it where it belongs in alphabetical order. So we've got this new folder and in subsequent screencasts I'll show you what to put in there. But for now, there are a couple other things that I want to do with this. They're optional, but I, but I find that it makes it easier for me to uh, get quickly to this folder and also to drop things into the folder. And there are two places that, that I put uh, links to this. One is on that sidebar, back where I clicked on Documents to go to quickly. You can create one of those for My Family History folder quite simply by clicking and dragging this to where you want it to be. Now if I, if I hover over one with a click with the mouse button depressed, it outlines that item and, and that means that if I let go of the mouse button now, it's going to drop it into that folder, which is not what I want. But if I move down a little bit, it changes to this line with a circle on the right end of it. And that's an insertion indicator. That's telling you that if I drop it right here, it's actually going to put a link between these two, fold, these two items in the sidebar, which is exactly what I want. If I wanted it to be somewhere else, I would simply drag it to where I want it to be. But for me, I'm going to put it right after Documents. So I'm going to release the mouse button, and now we've got a link to this folder. It's not actually that folder, but you can drop files in there, and they'll appear here. Or you can simply click that folder and change to it. Similarly, we can put that in our doc. So you can do one or both, or, or none of this, um, depending on your preferences. But you can do the same thing with your doc. You can click and drag your My Family History folder down, and um, I like to put it over here around my Documents folder again. So um, similarly to the sidebar, if you hover over one, it thinks you're going to put it in that folder. But if you put it in the space between, you'll notice the file folders move over to make space. And when it makes space, that means if you drop it, it'll put a link to it right there. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to release my mouse button. And now we've got a My Family History folder there. So just like I used the the documents folder or the yeah the documents folder on the sidebar I can click the my family history here and it will simply open me up right to there or I can drop files in it